Today we are talking about plank exercises. Now some of you have probably already heard about plank exercises, but think plank exercises only are good for training your abs. In reality, plank exercises do more because they train a lot of the muscles that connect your upper with your lower body. So planks help you keeping your lower back pain free and also um, help you in keeping a good posture. And of course, they also train your abs a bit. Here are two of the more popular plank exercises. What you are supposed to do when you do planks is, as their name implies, that you put your body into a straight line that resembles a plank. The starting position for planks has you going down onto your knees, resting your upper body on the elbows, and then straightening your legs, resting your feet on their toes, locking the legs and putting everything into a straight line like a plank. Your head is relaxed and you keep the abs flexed the entire time. What you are not supposed to do is raise your behind in the air, letting it drop or letting your upper body sag between the shoulders. Your entire body is straight like a plank and you hold this position for as long as you can. If you find these regular planks too difficult, you can do them from your knees by putting your calves into the air and having your upper body from the knees on in a straight line and then holding this position for as long as you can. If you find the regular planks too easy, you can make them more difficult by going into the regular plank position raising one leg into the air, holding it and then raising the other leg into the air and holding. The other ab exercise is called side planks and as the name implies here you are again supposed to put your body into a straight line like a plank but this time like a plank that is resting on its side. In the starting position, four side planks has you resting on your side, one leg atop of the other, both are straight, um, resting the upper body on one elbow and the unused arm on top of the top leg, and then raising the middle of your body until this here is a straight line. Again, you relax your head, keep the abs flexed, and making sure your behind is not sticking out to the back or front. You keep again this position for as long as you can and then switch over to the other side. The question of course is when and how many you should do of these planks and my recommendation here is to do them after your regular ab workout so that you don't take away from your performance there. As for how many I'd say do three reps of each like um, you do a regular plank, hold for as long as you can, take a break of a minute or two, do it one more time for as long as you can, take another break for a minute or two and then do it one final time and then repeat the same process with the side planks. Now, this was it. As always, try it out, tell me how it works for you and bye bye.